Come on, Bryce. Come on. You've got to be kidding me. But, but, but I'll be thrown in jail. I'm not legal. <clears throat> um, uh, my friend just turned up. I think he can help. I love you. Screw your wife, honey. This is for real. Jesus H, Nico. I need a tranquilizer. Something strong. Oh, man, I am cold. <laughs> Enjoying your new life in the land of opportunity, Dan? This is no time for jokes, buddy. Ah, uh -uh. no sorry. I'm in real trouble, Nico. Real trouble. Bryce is getting blackmailed. About what? About me! Okay, that's not good. Did he find out any information about Darko Brevich yet? No, but he's working on it. You've got to help me. Got to? Huh. How? We're going to warn these bastards off. Come on! Ah. Uh. Go get us a car, sweetie. I want something big and awful and intimidating. Hey, bud, what's up? Yes. Yeah. All right, hon. The beach is on Walnut Way in Northwood. I don't think I've ever been north the middle part. This is exciting! They don't even know what they're in for. No way. Nothing stands in the way of love. Love is strong enough to rip down mountains and throw trucks and all that stuff. Am I right? We're going to show them! Who's blackmailing you? We don't know. They won't even meet us themselves. This is just some flunky they're sending. We have to tell them to tell the boss we won't be pushed around. No way! to speak to him, not his rent boys. Listen, you're going to speak to your boss and tell him to back off. <laughs> if that's the way you want to play it, fine. Bryce will be all over Visa News tomorrow morning. You know what? Maybe the best way to get a message to your boss is for me to send him your heart. Yeah, tough guy. How'd you like that? Dmitry Raskolov only asks once. Your lover's career is over. Fucking Dimitri.
kill. I will get him. Guys are dead. I'll take you back to your place. Now I want you to take this to me. Slowly remove yourself from the vehicle. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I don't want to die. So we were just meant to scare them? That didn't work out so good, did it? At least they can't tell Dimitri about the meeting or we'll go to the papers. Too much of a wreck to go to the media himself. Information he has on Bryce is too valuable. You think? It would kill Bryce if he didn't have his career. Maybe he should have thought about that when he started dating you. Not that there's anything wrong with him. Your choice is your choice, man. But he should have thought about who he was before getting elected on the family values ticket. He preaches homosexuality and insanity. He's a hypocrite. And it was only a matter of time before someone like Dimitri tried to cancel your life. Shit. I'll shut up now. You don't need me telling you about your life. I don't normally talk this much. I'm your friend, but I will try to help. Subject northbound, train, Look after yourself, yeah? I hope Dimitri and his people back off now. Thank you so much, Nico. I'll speak to you soon. What do you want, Dimitri? I always thought that there was something not quite right about you, Nico. Now that I hear you are friends with Bright Dawkins and Bernie Crane, I know what it is. Stop blackmailing my friends, Dimitri. You do not want to anger me more. Persuade them to give up the contract. We can work together. I will cut you in, Nico. Let's be friends. I made the mistake of working with you before. It's not one I'll repeat. Goodbye. Nico, finally official. Since the moment I met Mallory, I knew that she was the only woman for me. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I'll invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin!